Blue collar, white collar, black professors, white scholars, politicians, Dalai Lamas. Everybody gonna hope while world need hope if I be honest. I'm in that number. Hey, welcome to another episode of the Raw Report. Trump properties earn a fortune from GOP and foreign governments during president's first year in office. This was a report. A dozen foreign government special interest group and GOP um, congressional campaign committee spent hundreds of thousands of dollars at presidential Donald Trump property during his first year in office. That is not good. That is not good. And this is according to a Watchdog report. A study released Tuesday by a nonprofit public citizen said that these groups clearly intend to win over the president by helping his business empire profit as he sat in the Oval Office. Altogether, 64 groups that could, um, um, that could present conflicts of interest spent money at Trump locations. Major payments include a Saudi Arabian public relations company spending $270,000 at Trump's Washington, D.C. hotel and more than $305,000 from GOP campaigns at several Trump organization property. Big-name GOP lawmakers, including Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, Representative Kevin McCarthy of California, and Representative Donna Royal Batcher of California, spent money at Trump property, as did Trump supporters at one time. GOP hopeful Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark. There's no way to escape the conclusion that these events are being held at the Trump property as a way of to curry favor with the president. Public citizen President Robert Weissman told NBC News it is just extraordinarily unlikely that these groups have an affinity for the Trump brand that's so great, that's so unrelated to the fact that the president happens to be named Trump. Days before taking office, Trump infamously stood in front of stacks of folders during a press conference said he was turning over control of his business to his sons Eric Trump during Donald Trump Jr. and Trump appointed ethics advisors. They're not going to discuss the business with me. Trump said to quell conflict of interest concerns. But Trump still remained in control of his global empire and did not fully divest himself from his finances, which is against the law, might you add, law-breaking. In 2017, Trump companies also sold more than $35 million worth of real estate to secretive buyers whose names were disguised under the Limited Liability Corporation, according to the U.S. Today report last week. Bobby Birchfield, the ethic advisor at the Trump Organization, he said that Trump organizations look into all buyers to determine whether their money is coming from before signing any deals. Public citizen Weissman said that the Saudis were putting forth a full-fledged effort to seduce Trump by staying at the Trump International Hotel in Washington. The government of Malaysia and Kuwait also booked rooms there. A waiver reviews called the President's D.C. Hotel a SHIT hole were added to his Yelp listing over the weekend. <laughs> That's funny. After Trump used the phrase to refer to Haiti and African nations that are sending immigrants to America. Watchdog groups include public citizens, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington crew have filed dozens of lawsuits against Trump over alleged conflicts of interest. Crew filed a lawsuit against Trump soon after he took office, saying that the president had violated the anti-bribery emolument clause of the United States Constitution by referring, by refusing to sell his business empire. A federal judge dismissed the case in December 2017, which it should have been dismissed. Now the point is, this whole thing is Donald Trump having fully divested. He gave the operation over to his sons, but it's still his business. His sons just running it. They're saying he should have sold his business. If you're going to run for president, you got to make the choice. Either you sell your business or not. Now, am I a person for selling the business? No. But you have to stop your business as president. And you cannot have your sons be doing deals with conflicts of interest. 
Now, this I've been saying this for a long time. If you want to get Donald Trump, throw away the Russia crap. The Russia crap is crap. There's no proof. It's a lie. Russia did not hack my mind to not vote for Hillary Clinton and not vote for Trump. I freely, proudly, with honor, cast my vote for Jill Stein because of her platform and her activism. And she was the smartest one of the bunch. Problem is, most of you didn't get a chance to know her and give her a shot. I gave her a shot. And we'll do it again and again and again. Donald Trump should have never been running for president. He already had uh, uh, lawsuits up his behind. Hillary Clinton was already been investigated. Both of them should have been denounced as candidates so somebody knew could came. Or we wouldn't be in this mess today. I keep telling you guys, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party can get rid of Trump today. They can file articles of impeachment today. They can go in and vote them out today based just on this alone, the Monument Clause. Still conducting business under the Donald Trump brand. Not the Trump boys brand, but the Donald Trump brand. And doing nefarious businesses practices with different people from different countries who's trying to get in with the Donald. But the Democrats and Republicans have no balls to do it because they're kissing this guy's feet. Why? Because this guy is not using it, making his own decisions. He's letting them make the decision and he's just signing off for it. I'm um, Bob TV <laughs> with the Rob Report. I'll let you later. Peace. Hey, um, thank you for watching the webcast. By all means, make sure you like, subscribe, and share uh, these videos. Go to YouTube right now and hit the notification button and hit the subscribe. And uh, if you're interested in supporting the uh, channel, uh, by all means, there's um, a Patreon link. I will put a PayPal link. And the money toward that goes toward um, equipment, things like that. And last but not least, make sure you look at two sections down below. Uh, one is called Get to Know LSD membership the other one is get to know LS the opportunity what do you mean LS LS is a program that provide uh, called legal shield that I am an independent independent representative of it has not that company has nothing to do with my views uh, I fell in love with this program about a decade ago I've been doing this uh, for over a decade offering the services uh, to people the benefit and connecting people to the services putting them in a position where equal justice under the law is not just on the Supreme Court building it is actually becoming a reality in their lives by having this membership and this with this organization not only will you be able to know about your rights in a certain area but you'll know about how to exert and execute your right with the power of attorney top rated attorney backing you no matter where you go without worrying about all this money coming out your pocket and things like that so get to know uh, LS the memory financially you can help contribute this program by becoming a member um, some of the proceeds of um, being a member of LS um, goes toward uh, Freedom on Fire and the Rob Report. And the Rob Report. I'm Robert Bob TV Brown. I thank you for being a huge support to what we do here. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.